Given the transfer function shown, we would like to first determine the impulse response of the system, which characterizes the system's behavior to an impulse input. Next, we will derive an expression for the difference equation representation of the LTID system described by H of omega, remembering that a difference equation is the discrete time analog to a continuous time differential equation. To arrive at the impulse response, we must simply apply the inverse Fourier transform to the transfer function. Its current form, however, will not allow a convenient application of our transform table, so we will rearrange h of omega into the sum of three fractions using partial fraction expansion, with each fraction having as its denominator one of the poles shown in the original transfer function. Determining the coefficients for each fraction, we find that a equals 1.125, b equals negative 6.25, and c equals 6.125. With h of omega rewritten as a sum of fractions, we may now utilize the following transform which yields the discrete time domain impulse response of the system. In order to arrive at an expression for the difference equation representation of the system, we return to our original expression of h of omega and recall that this transfer function is simply the ratio of the system's output over input. Rearranging h of omega in terms of y of omega and x of omega and multiplying out the appropriate terms, we can find the difference equation by taking the inverse Fourier transform of this expression, yielding the final result in terms of y of k and x of k.